Hello everyone. I want to thank you all for supporting me during the last two years on YouTube. I started my channel on 12th of August, two years ago, and I've never thought I would reach 5k. And now I'm, while I'm filming this, I'm quite close to it. So I'm, <laughs> I'm over the moon and I, I, I never expected this. I remember when Molds and Shapes contacted me after the first weeks, they said to me, you know, we really believe in you. And I said, well, I guess at that time I had maybe 80 subscribers. And they said, you know, what's your target? And I said, well, if I get 100 subscribers, I will be very, very happy. And it, yeah, it overwhelmed me, I must admit. So as a thank you, I would like to make a giveaway. And my prices are the coaster mode, the coffee coaster mode from Molds and Shapes, a pigment paste, the angel white from Lores, and four glitters from Laura's Art Corner, where Laura really supports me. I also have to say thanks to Laura because she's also supporting me a lot. And I want to give away what I'm pouring in this video. So. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel to give me a thumbs up and what I would like um, that you would leave a message saying I'm watching your video from and then tell me where you're watching it from and yeah what price you would prefer of course I cannot um, give three times what I'm pouring or three times what um, yeah, the mold or the um, glitters and pigment paste, but f at least for the very first one, I can really say, okay, that's it. And then the two other ones I'm choosing, they have to live with the leftovers. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope that you will enjoy my video and I'm looking forward to see you all in the future. And thanks again for your support because it's very important um, to support us small artists and YouTubers so we can really come up with new ideas and yeah it keeps us going and I'm talking I guess for a lot of small YouTubers okay thanks and see you see you later bye bye so and now I can start with my video so this is actually the coffee cup coaster mode from Molds and Shapes and I'm mixing some key lime mica into my resin so I can make a back layer and I just want to use this green tone for my back layer. So I'm just trying to find the right consistency because um, there was not much um, mica in my jar anymore, so I didn't get everything out, but there you see that I'm taking more and I'm stirring it again, just so I have, um, yeah, that you are not being able to look through, so it's a little bit more opaque and not too transparent, but I keep on just mixing some of the green there and I go again yes you know we also we artists we also don't always know how much to take when it's really opaque so yeah we all struggle like you do and I thought I, I show you this part because it's not always um, perfect so I'm just giving my resin a quick torch and then I'm just pouring the green on top of the mold so I have this wonderful happy green back layer yeah there fell something into my resin I just need to grab it I don't know what was in there normally there should have not been anything but I don't know maybe some unmixed powder but now I'm also pouring where the handle of the coffee cups are so that everything is green. 
And my leftover, because there is still quite a lot left over, I have a mold lying next to me. So I will use this for a different pour. So I'm not wasting my green. So now this next day, I waited really 24 hours till my green was really cured. And now I'm drawing, and how do you call this? If this is steam, a tree steam, we say in German, ein um, Baumstamm. Yeah, and the branches. Please bear with me. I'm using um, the resin inks from Stefanie Etter. And I'm just drawing my, my tree with my little dotting tool. So it's always tricky to get a right amount of alcohol ink onto the dotting tool. I mean, many of you will say, why don't you pour it into um, a container and then use it? But the problem is the alcohol ink, it's amazing how far it's really drying up. You see it, you know, sometimes I don't get enough of my dot dotting tool and then I need to cope with this and yeah, I'm, I'm just taking it straight from the bottle. I don't know if you can see it, but that I found um, worked the best way for me. It's really amazing how far it's drying. But I'm getting there, you see it. <laughs> so my first branch is almost done and then I'm going for my second branch. Then something in the middle in the wire. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, drawing my tree how I think I should do it. It's not perfect because I'm not such a good painter, but well, it's it's handmade. It's your own cr um, creation, so yeah. <laughs> I thought that it's just something, yeah, something different from what I'm normally doing. And I must admit, I tried the flowers in the coffee, in the coffee coasters. And I think for the flower technique, um, I prefer like um, other molds, like a round shape mold or and not just um, this style of mold, but it's up to everyone else, of course. So now I'm taking some gloss varnish and I'm pouring this into a glitter mix. And these are many, many glitters from Laura's Art Corner. I just mix different style of glitters, different colors. And then I put my gloss varnish on there and now I'm spreading the glitter and try to shape the top of the tree. I hope it will look like a tree at the end, but we will see. I'm just, yeah, also there, I'm just going with the flow, doing it how I think it look could look good. And I was surprised that all the pink took actually over because I did not put so much pink in there, but it doesn't matter. It matches very well with the green. I think it does. Yeah, and that's me almost done and I can take you down for a close up. Yeah, it takes still a little bit, but <laughs> please bear with me. So here's the close up and there are my trees and I really adore this glitter, but there's no top layer, layer on there now. So I'm doing it right now. And it's also um, like for my green, a very low viscosity resin. And I'm just pouring it on top. From all the four trees, my favorite one so far is the first one. But yeah.
but I'm really amazed with the glitter and now with the top layer they're really popping and when you have them for real in your hand you really have a 3d effect with with a lot of depth and this I really like yeah just a quick torch very carefully and now I can take out my coasters and I'm very very happy you see also that they pop out rather easily you only, the only thing you need to be careful sometimes it's at the handle because there's a thin part and it's no problem for demolding you just have to be a little bit more careful than with a round shape mold but anyway look at this <laughs> and yeah there I'm peeling tiny tiny um, bits of spills from my coasters you always have these tiny eensy bits you have to take off but yeah i really love my coasters <laughs> soon not mine anymore but i think they turned out really nice maybe next time i make the trees a little bit thinner the um, tree itself this is uh, the bottom part but we will see So I'm, now I'm gonna take you down for the final result. Yeah, and this is the final result. I hope you liked this video and yeah, I'm very excited still about the giveaway. I would be happy if you would subscribe to my channel, if you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment, regardless also about the giveaway. Anyway, I love and leave you and thanks for watching guys. Take care and see you for my next video. Bye bye.